This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volner back here with another episode of Watch, score, Watch Underscore Dogs. In the last episode, we used our hacking skills to kind of just mess around with the city, finding clues, going into people's houses, wrecking up the place, stealing their money, and watching them grade people on, like, either Tinder slash, uh, you know, roulette or whatever, and people probably anorexic. It's hard to say. But today, we're going to finally figure out the QR code. I kind of just dicked around a bit, and I kind of finally found what I was looking for after all this time. Yeah, basically you just need to find a camera that just has the two pictures, and you just kind of have to look around and find it, so here we go. Oh, uh, let me pause it a second just to go to the next destination while we let that play. There we go. Wait, hackers have a council? Wouldn't that kind of defeat the purpose of what they are? I don't know. I'm not part of a hacker group, so who knows? I would think being a hacker is all about, like... Well, I'm not trying to, like, uh... Oh, what's the word? Like, uh... Make it a... Make it a grand term? What's the, ter what's the term when you're trying to make something nicer than probably what it actually is? Or, or uh... Ugh. Well, you all know. Anyway, let's uh, let's see. This one's the one where we peek inside people's houses, right? Yeah. Okay. So we just need to find a place to either unlock it or intrude. Okay, so that's not unlocked yet. So we need a camera. Let's see, where is one? There we go. That'll help me locate a the parts that connect, so which is. That might be close enough, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, there we go. How was he? Okay, I guess. He's been there since he was like 14, and he knows he won't get out until he's at least 40. No. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Try that again. Keep, uh, keep on track this time, my friends. I think I just thought it was a hack, because it, yeah, I was just highlighting some other... So he goes... I can't go to there. It's got to go past that point. Because hmm. right, it highlights. Do I have to... No, I don't have to... Okay, so it's past that. So I can either find it or get a camera that's... Maybe that'll work. No, not close enough. I need one more. I don't think that'd work, but... I gotta find a good spot to like... Oh, we're back into this place again. Maybe I need to just walk over there instead. Let's see. It said it was over... across the thing over right here. It was with people's like face... like... pictures here. A lot of them look like almost demonic. Look at that. It looks like that guy's either missing his eyes or like... looking off into the next dimension or something. I'm kind of freaking out, man. I guess I just have to see the... There we go. That should be it. Well, I guess not everything has to be found through a camera. I wonder if that's supposed to be a, a metaphor in life. Oh well, let's intrude and steal some more money. See what other comical mishaps happen in the, the, the your own home. Oh, no way. Wow. Really? Wow, that's like, that's like a cross-stitch marathon, huh? Wow. You know what? You know what I was thinking? You know what I think would be great? How about, you know what? I move home for a little bit. Like, maybe, 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 maybe for good. That would be, <laughs> that'd be great. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> Mom, I was just kidding. Come on. You think really I want to move home I'm like a 30 year old man? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally joking. Come on. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. 
things are great. Things are yeah. Things are great, Mom. Huh. Well, he was he he wanted to move back home, but apparently she said something, and he's like, "Oh no, I'm just kidding." Uh, so who knows what he actually meant or wanted to? So, wait, didn't we already do that? Oh no, that's a new QR code. I was about to say, didn't I already just do that? Yeah, since we're in the area, I might as well do this hotspot and show you how it how it works. So you can either press up, or if you find these things, you can press Y and basically. Oh no, I already showed you it before. Oh, and you also get a thing for finding multiple spots, or at least. I think it slowly unlocks on the... Oh, has no one been here before? Or is my internet not working? One of the two. Anyway, let's uh, see. we got another QR code, so let's go ahead and get that. Hopefully this one won't take me as long to, to find, which I've already found the bottom of it, which is good. So, just means probably finding a camera in this general area right over here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, hold on. The news is playing. Yeah, let's talk about that jo what is it, Jody's work or whatever his name is. I wonder who went around painting all these QR codes and how no one noticed it before and no one cleaned it up. That would have been funny if there was like one that was just slightly off and someone cleaned it. But anyway, let's get it. Okay, let me, before we continue with that, let me find the next spot and then we'll, there we go, let's play. Looks like being a part of this dead sect is the one all beat all of all hackers. Apparently, they're like this. Uh, they're like the Rick of hackers. Nah, Rick, Rick and the hacker, or Rick would be funnier than this, but uh, still. Wow. Ah, okay, so we just need to go over. Looks like across on the other side of the wall or something, maybe. Oh, destroying stuff while trying to figure out where to go next. And this is the one where we had to find all those QR, or not QR, the, the um, all the boxes to scan, right? So we need to find the initial scan, if we can get over these things. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. I thought there was a little spot to, uh... Hey, he's got his athletic skills, despite his profession. I wonder, was he always a hacker? Is the game ever going to go into the reason why he became a hacker? Or is it just, hey, he's a hacker, deal with it? Oh well, I guess I don't need to know. Kind of I'd like fun. to know. Okay. Oh, I was about to say, is that is this different from before? No, it's the exact same thing. You hack all this stuff. Okay, let's let's. Yep. Come on. Just pressing the wrong button again. All right. So hopefully these won't. Can I climb up there? Yeah, I can. Okay. Well, at least they were somewhat paying attention uh, to all this stuff when they were putting the game together, at least. Unlike uh, some of the teams that's working on the... Well, actually, I can't blame all the Ubisoft team. The last... From what I heard, the last uh, Assassin's Creed wasn't too bad. Uh, I haven't... Although I haven't played Assassin's Creed since... My God. Two? Yeah, I haven't been really as invested in... Ah, okay, yeah, I can't really get over it. Uh, gonna have to go around. Um... Yeah, I haven't really been as invested as Assassin's Creed. After after finding out it was going to be coming out every year, for some reason I was just not really gung-ho about playing the series anymore. And really, technically, 3, I think, was supposed to be the technically end of it, to like tell the story or whatever, yet they kept playing it and making more stories based off it. And as a writer, and as a one who understands it, that any story can continue to be told if you're a good enough writer... But I don't know. Okay, so we might need cameras for this one. So let's see if I can. Okay, so we can at least get to that. Let's see if I can find a good camera spot for this. Whoa. Okay. That one we will need. We need some type of camera. There's gotta be one around here somewhere. 
I'd hate to I'd hate to miss a thing just because I couldn't find like one dinky little camera. Okay, there's gotta be one around here that'll let us focus in on it. Maybe that'll work? Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Okay, while we let that play, let's find another one. We're doing a little bit better than I, w than I was last episode, that's for sure. Raise this like this awesome hacker, uh, at least according to these files. And Bloom is this like, I wouldn't say boogeyman, but some you know corporate corporate bigwig type of character. At least from what I'm understanding here. I'm trying to find a parked car because if I just go stealing a car, they call the cops on you. So here we go. I mean, I could have called a called that dude to get it for me, but eh. Ooh, there was some stuff in there was some stuff in the lockbox uh, the glove compartment apparently. Ah, who knew? As if the close clean game wasn't exciting enough, there was a blackout at the stadium. More than half of the crowd was plunged into darkness, including the field. But that didn't stop Chicago from taking the late season win. Oh, at least you were paying attention to your frickin' baseball. Okay, so is this one unlocked already or are we gonna need to Crime, crimes everywhere. I'm not gonna deal with that crime. Okay, so you find a camera like before. I'll admit, getting to it and trying to solve it are basically gonna be the same thing over and over and over again. So don't expect like some unique, like different way of doing things. You know, that's what I'm trying to. Oh, there's multiple unlocks. Got gotcha. you. Okay, Let's see. So. And it might be a case of me just having to... Okay, so there's one beyond the gate there. So let's see if we can find that or at least get a... Okay. So there's one. And then the other one's up here. Can I climb up there? Let's see. Oh, wow. You got some jump skills, boy. White men can jump. Well, in a video game, anyway. That should be it, right? All right, let's see what... Let's funny things are going on in this household. I need to tell you something. I've been thinking about this for a long time, and, you know, we, we've known each other for a long time, yeah. and I... I love you. Uh -huh. With all my heart, I really love you um, and want to be with you. Matt. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love you, too. Really? You're like my brother. <sighs> Our friendship is so important to me. I... Not jeopardize what we have for anything. No way. Never. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> totally. It's, uh, that's, I, I didn't mean that. I, I just, I meant friends, too, you know? Because right? we're, we're such good such friends. Such good friends. <laughs> oh. So it's, Isn't that yeah, an awkward just, scene? I tell you. No, I'm sorry, buddy. So, Looks like you're going to look somewhere else. Ah! Anyway, yep, that was an awkward scene. Try to confess his love for his friend, and she did not feel the same way. Yeah, I don't. I've never had that happen to me, but man, I do not even want to think about how awkward that situation is, especially if one person does not, never even considered that. I think there was a show on TV that had something like that, where it was about like best friends, like best friends since they were kids type of people, and one of them really did care about them more than that, but wasn't sure. You know about going to the next spot or that that next step and they weren't sure if the other person felt the same way yeah i don't know that's awkward enough as it is so yeah sometimes we get funny situations sometimes we get like pretty sad situations so looks like you're gonna have to and you could tell like when she was saying she was either like trying to make him feel better or she was like oh my god i did not want to deal with this right now it's like yeah we're friends huh you know, trying to let him off or something like that, but either way. 
Well, enough of seeing people's love lives not going not going the way they wanted to. Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes there's just really no way to know unless you ask a person like what they're feeling, because pe not a lot of people are pretty straightforward about the, what they think or say. I'm kind of like that too. Like I'm one of those people that when I'm angry, I'm very passive aggressive. So a lot of times you can't even tell how I'm feeling and, until it's like at that boiling point, you know. Although it doesn't come out that often, but. So what's this one we're doing it's supposed to be? Okay, people have got missing in Chicago. There may be a serial killer in the, ooh, that's bad. Leave bodies and cryptic messages. Find all six missing persons throughout the city and unlock a special mission. Oh boy. Great, ah. Yeesh. Did not want to walk up onto that. Okay, well let's scan this, see what this is all about. God, look at that, it looks like a clock. And they put their body in a time, so it's three, three, 35 or 330 maybe? Hmm. Wonder what that's supposed to mean. Well, we've only found one body, so and some messages, so okay, while well, we let that run. Hmm. Wanted to be a part of her, huh? Or the blood, huh? So he has some sort of like you know, Blood Brother situation going on here. Let me guess it's going to be all women, or is it going to be men and women? Well, we've only found one body, so we can't say for sure until we find more, but that's one of those things we'll just get to when we get to it. Because we're not going to do all this, all one type of side quest. I'd be basically running around the whole city trying to find all of one, and I haven't unlocked everything yet, so let's just uh, leave. Let's just leave well enough that the point is I hope you remember that we've come across this at some point. Okay, so we got this one. This one's not unlocked yet, so we need a camera or something. Okay, let's see. Does the church have a camera? Are they into the 21st century? Nope, not this church. Okay. Oh. Who has grass hedges this large anymore? Only a crazy-ass rich person would. Of course. Although if I had a lot of money, I guess I'd do weird things too. Well, we can't be that far away if... Well, this is... Eh, we're gonna need a camera. I need to find one around here somewhere. Most like this house does not have one. Huh, that's a bit odd. Usually they're... Usually each area has a camera or device I can look up almost immediately in the general vicinity, but this one does not. Hmm. Is there one like across the street or there's none of the light posts. Maybe over here. Maybe maybe the uh, if I get if I'm get to decent Hmm. Okay, this is a bit odd. There's gotta be a camera. Some there's gotta be some paranoid asshole around here who has a camera on their in their house. Wow, where where are all the cameras? It's like the QR code from the last episode. I'm trying to find it and I'm having trouble. We could knock that lady out, but I'm not going to. Does she have any stuff to seal? Nope, she's just allergic to nuts. D's nuts. Ah, ah, ah. That's an old meme. Yeah, you can. I don't know if you know anything about my personality, but I am not a fan of meme humor. Well then, and I can't really use the. Can I use this to? Uh, fi oh, okay. There we go. I forgot that my. Um, oh, what's the term? My phone can actually unlock those lines too. So. There we go. Now I wasted a couple minutes of your folks' precious, precious time. Okay, looks like it's going to be pretty far away. Man, make us go out of limb just to, just to unlock something. So I have to lock another one? Man, talk about hiding your secrets. Well, I guess it makes sense. I mean... If you have a rich... Because this looks like one of those areas that a bunch of rich people live in. So they want to spend all their money making sure that uh, no one would be invading their privacy. They don't mind other people's privacy getting invaded. Just mine. Or, sorry, just yours and mine. You know, your average everyday folk. Although usually I'm pretty aware of my 
uh, my internet situation when it comes to uh, making sure nothing bad happens to me. But you never know. You can't be perfect. You can't be protected against everything. I'll admit. Because even those who are clearly aware of their online security and stuff like that have still been caught or taken advantage of. So, all right, let's see what this house, what nasty secrets are inside here. Will it be funny or sad? Oh. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Ooh. And what, did he just, and cancer is in remission? Yet he's, oh, that's kind of messed up, game. Yeah, I don't think we've got anything, well, I'll double check, but I don't think we have anything else here. I think we're pretty much, we caught ourselves in the middle of a dead guy situation. Hopefully, maybe we'll report this afterwards. Yeah, there's nothing else First here. First message, sent today at 9.45 a.m. Oh, here we go. Hey, Dad, I haven't heard from you in a few days. You want to call me back? The kids are anxious to see you. They've already picked out your Christmas presents. You believe that? Christmas around the corner again. And time flies, huh? Um, let me come get you after work. You can stay here. I, I, I know you think you're a bother, but... Dad, you've never been a bother. I'll swing by to work, okay? Bye. That was depressing. Um, yeah. And unfortunately, well, I haven't been personally been a part of that situation, but I've had people who've had a loved one who basically they were by themselves and basically died while at home, and that was an elderly person. So, yeah, great place to end up uh, end an episode, right, guys? Yay for dying alone in your house with no one to take care of you. That's not going to happen to me at all, right? Right? We'll find out next time if I'm still here, folks, in the next episode of Watch Underscore Dogs. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. I think I'm going to call my folks after this.